is what it means to be bored. Let's see. I've counted all the ceiling tiles, I've buried everything I own, and I've checked the house several times for intruders. Ugh. What I need is some genuine, tail-wagging, nose-sniffing excitement. Ah! We're under attack! Oh, wait, it's a, it's a, it's a tree? Okay, you've just seen a tree walk across your front yard. What are the implications of this? Trees are supposed to have roots, not legs. What if trees have suddenly sprouted legs? What if they're all trying to walk away? I'm in big trouble if I... Ah! Oh, Wishbone, watch out! Ah, you caught it! Good oh, job, Wanda! Wishbone, watch where you're going. Okay. Do you need a hand? No, 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 I got it, I got it, I'm okay. I'm okay, okay, hold on. Oh! oh Don't oh, let him get away! Oh, 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 okay, okay. okay. Oh. 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 Well, you know, maybe I do need a little help. <laughs> Here, uh, you guys push the wheelbarrow and uh, I'll find the right spot for the tree. Okay, over here, guys. Follow me. That's good. Oh, good idea. Yes. Let's get that thing yeah. back in the ground. Well, this looks like the perfect spot right here. I think this would be pretty good. Hey, kids, bring it on around here and I think... Oh, no, 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 no. If we put it over here, then we'll get the sun from this direction and we can put... Oh, uh, uh, guys, come on, come on. Okay, let's set it right here. Okay. Wanda, what exactly are you doing? <sighs> well, what exactly are you doing? Sam, you read my mind. Well, you know today is Arbor Day. Arbor Day? Uh, the day we celebrate trees. For your information, I celebrate trees every day. Right. The day we consider how important trees are to us. Well, they provide shade and beauty and produce oxygen for us to breathe. Every year on Arbor Day, I plant a tree. And this year, I said to myself, I said, Wanda! Why don't you be a good neighbor and share your joy with someone else? And so I decided to plant a tree for you and your mom. <laughs> but uh, I could be persuaded to let you guys help. Well, okay. That's the spirit. So where do we start? Well, you dig, of course. <gasps> Did someone say dig? Now you're talking my language. I've got a couple more shovels out back. I'll go get them, be back in a jiffy. Oh, here's some water in case you get thirsty. This is going to be great. Joe, you start. I'll keep an eye on the tree. The smell of fresh dirt in your snout. What can possibly top that? I've got some plans for you, tree. Hmm. Joe, your digging is really great. Top notch. Look at this big piece. But why don't you let an expert show you how to do it? Whoa! <laughs> 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 no, I don't. 
dogs love digging? It's because we're driven to find out what lies below. Every dig is an adventure. Like the novel, A Journey to the Center of the Earth by Jules Verne. This science fiction fantasy takes place in the summer of 1863. Three men travel all the way to Iceland to follow a secret path to the core of the Earth. And where do they begin? Inside a volcano. The first of our heroes was named Axel. He was much more at home reading a book about adventure than actually living one. Uncle, we have to stop. This is sheer lunacy. Next, there was Hans, the guide. Hans, surely you can see that we will never make it. You must make my uncle understand. Hans didn't speak much, and he didn't want to cross the leader of the pack. Professor Liedenbrock. Uncle, we still have time to turn back before we are lost. Nonsense, Axel. Look what I've just found. The letters A and S. So? Don't you see? A.S. The initials A.S. Arne Sagnusson, who claimed to have gone to the center of the Earth 300 years ago. They are a sign. Proof that we are on the right track. Onward to the center of the Earth! <laughs> In the volcano's interior, Professor Liedenbrock and company discovered huge underground caverns. They pressed on, continuing their search for the trail left by Professor Sacknesum many years before. It was hard work. And young Axel began to get discouraged. Axel, my boy, how are you holding up, huh? Uncle, we have to accept the truth. We've gone the wrong way. And worse, we have no water. I can't go on, not a step further. Axel? Take my canteen. Drink. It's the very last mouthful. I saved it for you. My dear uncle, thanks for my heart. Uncle, hear me. We have no water. We've lost the trail. We must go back. So, Axel. Those few drops of water have not restored your courage? Courage? Surely you know, when you encounter an obstacle, you find another way to reach your goal. You don't want to go back? And give up this expedition? Never! We shall die down here. No, Axel, my boy. I am far from desiring your death. Take Hans and leave me. I will go on, alone. I cannot leave you. But unless we discover water, our hours are numbered. Warten. What? Warten. What did he say? He said, water! Have you gone mad? You expect to get water from rocks? No, no, from behind the rocks. Listen, the sound of moving water on the other side. It must be a subterranean river. We must make a hole.
Maybe we should save some water for Wishbone. Yeah, he's the one doing all the digging. What was that? Pay dirt! What you got there, boy? I just uh, dig the stuff up, pal. I don't analyze it. Uh, it's just a piece of junk. It tasted old, too. Ugh. I don't think it's just a piece of junk. Well, there's only one way to find out. Come on. Hey! Where's everybody going? Hey, guys! Wait for the dog! <laughs> Well, I can't get all the dirt off. And why would you want to get all the dirt off? Hmm. Hey, I found it. I say we leave the dirt on for flavor. One side is plain, and the other side has an inscription on it. Well, what does it say? Well, I don't know for sure, but I can tell you it's in Latin. You studied Latin, didn't you, Mom? Well, a half a zillion years ago in high school. You're that old? Let's see, honoris. Honoris? That's the genitive case, so of honor. Oh, I knew that. And then fortitude. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, um, fortitude, uh, strength. And then I can't tell you much about the rest. What's that there at the bottom? Oh, it looks like initials. Ah! NJ. NJ. Yeah. Maybe it's a piece of jewelry. Hmm, maybe this NJ person owned it. Maybe we found something really rare and valuable. Archaeologists dig up cool stuff all the time. Ancient pottery, tools, Ooh. even animal fossils right under the ground we walk on every day. Yeah, but this is Oakdale, not Egypt or some really old place like that. Hey guys, face it, we won't know for sure until we find out. I don't know. I've got a feeling about this thing. It's gold. A hundred miles below the surface of the Earth. This is the real Mother Lode! Ah, amazing! Axel, come look at this! Axel? Where's Axel? Uncle! Uncle! fool enough to, to let my uncle talk me into this, to listen to his crazed babblings. Oh. I could be home right now, reading, my lamp casting its light over one of my books. I'm delirious. Uncle, is it really you? Where are you? Speak into the wall! Speak into the wall! Can you hear me? Yes, yes, I can hear you. The granite conducts your voice like wire conducts electricity. Keep talking and we'll find you. Uncle, I I'm here. Ugh. I got lost and fell. Can you still hear me? We are getting closer. Yes, close indeed. Take call, Maxon. Axel? It's you. <laughs> Wishbone, you finally found something real this time. That's me and my nose. Boldly going where no dog has gone before. <laughs> Maybe it's from some secret society. 
Yeah, the inscription could be some kind of code. Can you translate some more? No, I'm sorry. I wish I remembered more of my Latin. I could get the dictionary. What are we gonna do? What we've been doing, people! Let's go back out there and excavate the site! Read my lips! Dig! Dig! What is this? Jewelry cleaning solution. Mm. I think it's working. Hmm. It's soft. I think it's gold. 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 Hot diggity dog! Maybe it's a part of some pirate's buried treasure. Yeah, but we're not near an ocean. I don't know. Oceans turn up even at the center of the Earth. Our travelers crossed an underground ocean. They just missed out on being snacks for a sea monster. Good work, Hans. That was close. Let us move inland before our little friend decides to take a stroll on the beach. Axel, my boy, do you know what you found? A bone. Not just any bone. It's part of a mastodon. Up on the surface, they're extinct. But down here, like our sea monster, possibly the mastodon still lives in these very jungles. Uncle, I have to admit, this has been a marvelous trip. I apologize for doubting you in the first place. Ah, forget all that, Axel. We have more work to do. A dagger? But whose? The weapon of some ancient warrior? No warrior. It is yet another clue. We are still on the right road to the interior of the Earth. Follow me! Over here! The initials A.S. again, carved on this rock wall to indicate a tunnel behind this boulder. We're on track. Not so fast. It's blocked the tunnel completely. Then let us go to work with pickaxes, with crowbars. Down with this barrier. We must press on. Use anything. But it's far too big to be destroyed by just a pickaxe or crowbar. <sighs> then it is useless. Wait. After all we've gone through, we can't be beaten yet. No ordinary tool shall we use on such a rock. What we need is gunpowder. <laughs> or gun cotton, to be more precise. Four times more powerful than gunpowder. Well done, Axel, my boy. Let's set the charge. Light it! Take cover! Uncle, do you hear that? Yes! What is it? I believe that we may have made a mistake. If my calculations are correct, we may have unleashed the volcano! Mm, then bring to a boil and serve immediately. Hey, Alan! It's dinner time! <laughs> Hello, Wishbone. Hey, guys. 
I found my old Latin book. Oh, great. Okay. Hey, guys, food's ready. You know, maybe it's a Roman coin. Hmm, I wonder what the Latin is for, come and get it. I don't think there were any Romans in Oakdale. It's not a coin, it's a medal. A medal? Mm-hmm, I think so. There's a date, 1864, and that should give us a clue. Well, how? Well, let's think about it. What was going on back then? People were eating dinner. They were building lots of railroads. And eating dinner. There's a gold rush out west. <gasps> and they ate dinner. Don't forget the Civil War. <sighs> of course. Yes, lots of soldiers eating dinner. Okay, here it is. A decoration for the sake of honor, for military bravery, and... It must be a medal given to a soldier. Maybe from the Civil War. Well, whoever the recipient was, he must have been some kind of a hero. Well, is that this NJ person? Well, I don't know. There must be a backing piece to the medal. How come? Well, the inscription stops in mid-sentence. It has to continue on the other side. And that's why the other side is plain. Hmm, the backing piece must have fallen off somewhere. Well, if you can find it, you'll know who NJ is. The, the hole! hole. Uh. Uh. Well, finally, you decide to come back. Hey, now that's what I call digging. <laughs> Power digging! Hey, hey guys, I think I'd say that's about it. <laughs> I mean, I think that's deep enough. Kids, you should stop! Wanda, it's okay. They're just trying to find something. shaft of an active volcano? Yes, and it's the best thing that could happen to us. Right, Hans? Yeah. It's our only chance to get back out of here. I got it. Wait a minute. What was that, Wishbone? Blah, 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 blah. It can't be. It's the other piece of the metal. Where'd it go, Wishbone? Thank you. It was nothing. Let's see. Outstanding courage awarded this day, May 5th, 1864, to Noah Johnstone. And <gasps> Jay. Jay. Did you say Noah Johnstone? Colonel Noah Johnstone? And this is his medal? I can't believe I'm holding this. This medal has been lost for years. Until now. How come you know so much about this guy? This guy was also the first mayor of the town you live in. Why? Tradition has it that Noah Johnstone planted many of the original oak trees in Oakdale. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you so much for finding this. Uh, I would love to add this to our collection down at the Oakdale Historical Society. 
Well, I, I mean, if it's okay with you. What? What do you think, Wishbone? No time for chit-chat, Wanda. I'm on a streak. Wishbone? I've got new treasure to find, new lands to explore. Onward to the center of the Earth! <laughs> Jules Verne described the descent to the center of the Earth, writing, The sides of the shaft were getting closer and closer together. We were approaching the regions of eternal night. Our crew was moving underground. This was a major task for our art department. When I first read the script, I was wondering how we were going to do this show that takes place in the center of a, a major volcano. We used a, a ton of styrofoam. Huge blocks of foam were literally glued together by the carpenters and using research pictures that we had, they carved that foam with everything from uh, razor knives to the claws of their hammers and suspended between the actor and that set wall were these little stalactite, stalagmite pieces. So it gave the sense that the person is surrounded by the cave environment. So much for life inside a quiet volcano. Now we had to activate it. Bring on the special effects. Uh, for a journey to the center of the Earth, we generated two different explosions, uh, uh, clouds of smoke, and uh, then also helped to split the Earth open. First, we dug a trench where a gas line was hidden. We need gas to create the fire. Then... Once they were blown out of the volcano, we uh, blew debris into the air, uh, a lot of smoke drifted by, and uh, even had flames coming out of crevices. Here's how it looked in the show. Pretty cool. Well, um, hot, actually. You know, about the only thing more exciting than a journey to the center of the Earth is a journey to the end of a good book. <laughs>